Did you hear that, boys? Our worshipful master, President Biden, has urged to slash animal production by 50% by 2040 to meet climate goals, limiting people to one burger per month by cutting out 90% of red meat. Mr. Biden, I think the nurse that takes care of your demented ass brain needs plenty of meat to have the strength to take that gigantic diaper off your face every day. And before I get into this new world order nonsense, is Biden even real? This is apparently Biden now, but younger pictures of him are nothing like that. Completely different person, thick five o'clock shadow, shallow facial structure, less hair. I mean, if you look at him now, it looks like he either had tons of cosmetic surgery or it's not the same person. Is that why he was the only person wearing a mask on the Zoom call last week with all of those psycho leaders so they could program his voice on the live call easier? I mean, these degenerates lie about everything. You think they're not going to put a fake person in front of you on TV? And with all that's going on in the world, <coughs> Everyone locked inside their homes. The world leaders are focused on climate change. Deprive your brain of B vitamins by removing meat. Cook yourself in an electric car like a microwave if the lack of animal nutrition didn't already fry your brain. Transition to electric heat pumps as if the smart meters weren't enough radiation. The science is undeniable. Biden and Kamala Harris promote to slash U.S. carbon emissions in half by 2030 in virtual climate summit with Putin, Xi Jinping, and 38 other world leaders. Oh, whoopee, whoopee! Yeah, just like all the world leaders cooperated to scare us into our homes because of you know what. <laughs> They plan on continuing their tyranny with climate as a smokescreen. Every word that comes out of their mouths is fake, especially about this. Climate change is probably the biggest lie that has been shoved down our throats for decades. Google chemtrails and it's a conspiracy theory. Google geoengineering and it's suddenly something scientific. You know, what a clown world. They literally make things up as they go along. Speaking of which, I never like to give flat earthers any credit because they focus on the shape of the world as opposed to an actual map. If you Google what causes weather, the answer is air pressure, temperature, moisture differences, which doesn't make sense. What's creating those things? You know, if I shine a giant UV light somewhere, spray some water in the air, a hurricane is not going to appear. What is creating the weather? Something invisible. Energy. The Rupes Nigra is a phantom island, claimed on certain maps but apparently proven not to exist. It was believed to be a 33 mile wide black rock located at the magnetic North Pole. Stories of early exploration of the North Pole among several adventurers are similar. Their ships met an impassable fog, which I believe to be the magnetic energy surrounding that rock. So, to my knowledge, the government is spraying shit in the air to change the climate. You know, part of that is blocking the sun just so we don't get vitamin D to be healthy. There's mystery around the world map, how weather actually works, certainly not telling us the truth about EMF radiation, all of these secrets. You know, those towers they're putting up everywhere might have something to do with changing the weather. And I saw a video some months back about how they were using geoengineering to actually block rain in Australia causing artificial droughts. And there was a theory that they were going to sacrifice Australia in the name of climate change. Even if there is a climate problem, it would have nothing to do with CO2. Water vapor is what controls the Earth's temperature. It traps over 1,000 times, up to 4,000 times as much CO2. Volcanoes, oceans, nature, have far more of an effect on global temperature than man could ever have. And if man-made, man-made climate issues were real, the problem isn't me or you eating a grass-fed steak. It's giant corporate activities, industrial functions, factories, not a bunch of deer shitting in the woods. If this was truthful, they wouldn't be telling us to stop eating meat, move into smart cities, 
you know, they would move towards more sustainable farming practices and we would be living like the Amish with minimal technology. Just think about the infrastructure of a city, a cell phone, electronic devices, all of our modern technology takes far more resources than living in a cabin in the woods, whatever. It's not even comparable. And this has always been about control. Having everyone live in those smaller communities, growing their own food, raising their own animals, essentially living in harmony is the opposite of what the elite need for control. One argument that the vegans like to bring up is that animals eat so much of the grain that we could be consuming ourselves. And that's just not reality. The grains, the roughage, the silage, the food the animals are eating is not adequate for human consumption by any extent. And regardless of whether you're monocropping corn to feed it to cows or to people, you're damaging the environment. Whereas you can grow food in a sustainable way. It doesn't really matter though. They're just using it as an excuse. CO2 emissions don't matter. What matters is how much we're poisoning our land, our food, and our water, and how that agrochemical waste is going to impact us for decades, if not hundreds of years. So if they reduce American meat consumption, you know, people will start lacking the real semblance of animal nutrition they have. You know, but why are they targeting red meat as opposed to other meat? Because it's not as unhealthy. You know, pork and chicken, so high in omega-6, you're basically poisoning yourself. Beef, although full of antibiotics, estrogen, and it's still bad for you from, you know, a level perspective, it's much better than those other lower quality meats. And you, throughout history, the elite restricted the animal foods of the lower classes to make them stupid and weak. That combined with our Wi-Fi hell holes, forcing people into electric cars, getting fried on the highway by these new cell towers, you can guarantee a bunch of mindless slaves that couldn't think if they wanted to. And there's insiders at all of these companies that know exactly what's going on. The people that are going to develop those electric heaters know that it's going to emit some type of magnetic or electric field that's going to have a specific purpose on the effects of people's minds, just like all of these other electronic devices. Alexa, please find me uh, 10 girls taller than me that don't speak English so they can beat the hell out of my brain. I don't have to think about this shit anymore. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'm tired of talking about this stuff, to be honest, but you know, the, the meat stuff kind of lined up with my channel, so I figured I could give you guys my thoughts. I feel like I've spoken about this environment stuff, just not recently. Uh, we probably have to do another video debunking the vegan moral stuff. It's just lies and lies and lies and lies, and when people get the information from a position of authority, regardless of what you say, you can't convince them otherwise, because the only circumstance where they will change their mind is if that position of authority or someone higher up says it. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Because of that, please make sure to visit my YouTube channel every day. Sign up for the newsletter on frank com, and you can support me further by you know checking out any of my businesses, and hopefully sometime in the very near future, I can give more back. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow. If you want to watch me lose my mind at Frankie's Free Range Meat.